first. KX News at 10 starts now. Good evening, I'm Renee Cooper. Thanks for joining us for KX News at 10. Leading our coverage tonight, many woke up to gunshots this Sunday morning. The Minot Police Department is actively investigating a homicide that took place early this morning. At 6 a.m., officers responded to 13th Street Northwest and 11th Avenue Northwest at the report of gunshots. A few minutes later, officers were called out again for a crash near the Minot State University Dome. The driver, a 29-year-old male, had been shot and was transported to Trinity Hospital, where he's pronounced dead a short time later. Officers investigated the scene at 11th Avenue until 1.20 this afternoon. Minot police say there is no suspect in custody. So our Carissa Stinchcomb was on scene for hours today. She talked to several people who live nearby. We spoke to neighbors in the area who didn't want to be on camera. One woman said she heard six gunshots before hearing another nine shortly after that. Another woman said her father-in-law called police after hearing gunshots around 6 o'clock this morning. Other neighbors say they heard gunshots around 6 o'clock but weren't sure what happened. Woke me up out of bed and so I peek out the window to see if there, because I assumed it was going to be the same spot, see if I could see anything going by and didn't see anything and I woke my roommate up too and we go, yep, it was down the hill again. The police department is asking residents who live near 11th Avenue Northwest and MSU campus to check security cameras for video of the shooting or for vehicles that may be traveling through around this time frame. I think it sucks. You know, we shouldn't have to be dealing with this and I hope they get them. Reporting for KX News in Minot, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. Well, the victim's name has not yet been released. If you have any information, call the Minot Police Department at the number on your screen. That's 701-852-0111. In case you missed it, we do have all of that information posted on our website as well. That's kxnet.com.